16th, 2019 today, and bass opener was yesterday. So it's uh, just before seven o'clock in the morning. I'm heading down again to the same spot I was for muskies uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, a little something different. I have my canoe with me, so this will be some different adventures. I hope to hit some smaller lakes and uh, use my canoe to catch some bass. Uh, maybe some muskie, who knows. Uh, the boat is still up there, actually. I never brought it home. I just left it up there since I was coming back up in, you know, a couple of weeks from when I left for muskie fishing. So I'll be using the boat a bit. Uh, I still have the motor issue, so we'll, uh, I brought the canoe kind of just in case the starter got too bad. I can't use the boat. So And uh, there's actually a bass tournament going on right now. And last year on this lake, there was this bass tournament happened again, and it was over 100 and... 110 teams in it or something like that so a pretty pretty big tourney so I'm uh, I'm letting the bass fish rest on this lake for a couple of days and I'll musky fish tonight and then tomorrow I'll take the canoe off to those other smaller lakes where it wouldn't have seen as much pressure all right thanks so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you enjoy the videos that are gonna come out from this week's trip all right thanks so much for tuning in and uh, let's go have an adventure see you later Here we are again. Does this look familiar? The bass tournament is still on. There's still a few hours left in that, so I'm not going to get out in the water until all those guys come in. I've got to launch my boat, move in, and all that fun stuff, but I'll check in with you in a bit. I'm fishing a Mega Bass 110. Perch color. Now, of course, these fish were just hammered all day with this tournament, but I really want to try and pick one or two off. Hopefully some stragglers that were out deep and never got caught and are coming up to feed. Here we go, guys. I got my first bass on of 2019 on a topwater. That's cool. <laughs> there we go, little smally, my first pass of the year. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> it's a dink, but it's my first bass of 2019, so I have to show it. <laughs> little smally on a head and chug and scoop junior. See ya. That's fun. Ah, good morning. It is just before five o'clock in the morning. Um, today I am headed to a couple random lakes north of where I'm staying. I'm just taking the canoe. This is something I've always wanted to do. This is why I've got this sort of fishing canoe. I've always wanted to hop from little lake to little lake and, and try things out. So these are mystery lakes to me. Um, I know a little bit about the first lake and I know nothing about the second lake. And they're not really well marked, uh, mapped lakes or anything like that. So, But I've just heard that there's some, some good sized bass in there. So we're going to... Do our best to see if we can't catch a PB. Yeah, this should be a really fun adventure. Stick around and yeah, let's hope to put some fish in the boat. See ya. Looks like I've got the lake to myself. This is pretty cool. Thought I'd show you my rig before I get out there. This is a sports pal. It's a 14 foot. Square stern, two and a half horse Suzuki four stroke. I got five rods with me today. Paddles, net, safety gear, everything I need. Mosquitoes are crazy. Whoa! All right, let's go.
Not a big one, but I got something. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> little smally pounder, a little bigger than the fish I caught last night, but I'll happily take it. I love when smallies bite top water. It's so much fun. See ya. Right off that rocky point, of course. Picture perfect. Let's see if there's another one there. Uh, got a little guy on, right on the rocky point of course. These little smallies seem to like these little rocky points. <laughs> Dink fest so far. <laughs> oh well, it's okay. Hopefully we get into more size later. Pretty loons. <clears throat> There's two of them, one's underwater. Such beautiful birds. Here's the other one. Goodness. Hey, bud. Beautiful animal. I'm just getting the giants today. This old school, I like it. It's good fun. Oh, decent smally guys. Get in here! Oh yeah! Nice. Easy, bud. Oh, that's a good one. He's unhooked and everything. Oh, nice one. There we go, that's a little better. Check it out guys, better fish. That's my first decent quality one of 2019, so I'll take it. I don't know, two pounder or something, but anyways, they fight so good, they're so much fun. I'm happy with that for sure. All right, buddy, thanks for the fun. Oh, that was awesome. Look at this largemouth I got, guys. Wow, that's a big fish. That is awesome. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. I'll get him unhooked and we'll have a look at him. Holy crap. Look at this guy.
First largemouth of the year, by the way. Look at that, it's a tank. <laughs> oh, that's a good fish, that is heavy. Oh, guys, that's gotta be five. That is a heavy root. Hooked really well. <laughs> oh, that's a brute, guys. I love it. Ugh. I'm going to get him in the water for a little bit. Okay guys, <laughs> five pounds, what an awesome fish, absolutely awesome fish. Okay bud, thanks for the fun. Alright buddy, thanks for the fun. Oh look at that guy. See ya. Alright buddy, thanks for the fun. Oh look at that guy. Oh, wow. Five pounds, that's awesome. I wasn't, uh, he got everything soaked. Honestly, I, I wasn't expecting to come out here and get a five pounder. I was hoping I could just find a few fish and, um, yeah, yeah. but I got a decent smallie, that five pound largey fat fish, but you know, maybe 18 inches long. I didn't measure him, but, um, anyways, he came on a pop max, mega bass pop max. And I wasn't expecting to get a top water bite. You know, it's midday and midday and I haven't got much action on top water at all. So <laughs> this was the deal right here. Okay. I'll fish around here a bit more and See if we can't get another one. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here for this lake. Um, I passed over that weed patch again to see if I could get another fish and there was nothing going, but um, it's about 11 o'clock. I've got to still head back to the launch. I've got to load the canoe up and um, I've got some exploring to do. There's a uh, canoe trip that my wife and I are gonna do next week and we leave from this lake, but I've got to find the spot where we're gonna park and launch. So I've got to drive around to this side and find it. And uh, yeah, okay, so the key when you come to a new lake, you, you really have no idea what's going on. You can use Navionics to the best of your ability, but a lot of these smaller lakes aren't marked very well, if at all. So I found this, um, this, this weed area here. It's kind of like a large weed flat, and the water drops off, it seems like, on all sides. And the weeds are coming up almost to the surface, and you can see them when you're out um, from a distance. You can see the little heads poking up through. So I would just kind of drift over that, and that's where that big fish bit. So. Hey, I'm really happy um, to come on to a, a new lake that I have zero experience on and uh, get a few smallies, like one decent smallie, a few little dinks, and then a, a five pounder largemouth. I'm very happy with that. That's my first largemouth of the year and it's a, a five pounder. So pretty awesome. I'm very happy with that. So we'll see what the next lake holds. There's going to be adventure awaiting me there, I'm sure. So come on and join me for the next adventure on Ontario Fishing Quest. Mm -hmm.